I have now also painted Theo from the Wolfsburg expansion from Zombieside Black Plague. But first let me show you my painted miniature. I primed the miniature in the color Standard Grey from Citadel. Before I primed the miniature, I washed it with warm water and dishwasher soap to make sure the primer stays on well. For the skin, I used the colors Brown Sand with Pale Flash from Vallejo. I'll mix these colors with a 50-50 ratio. So one drop of brown sand mixed with one drop of pale flesh. I'll paint his face and hands with this color. For his shirt, I will use the color Gold Grey from Vallejo. I will also paint the bottom of his shirt. This is an easy step, just make sure you don't miss any spot while painting. For his pants, blouse and the trim on his shirt, I use the colors Bone White with Off White from Vallejo. For the blouse on the pants, I use a 50-50 mix of Bone White with the color Off White. For the trim on his shirt, I use the color Bone White. Later, I found this color to be too light and then I will use the color Tar Brown from Scale 75 instead. For the boots and belt, I will use the color German Black Brown from Vallejo. I will also paint the straps of the bundle on his back with this color. For the cape, I use the colors Chocolate Brown, German Orange Ochre and That Flash from Vallejo. I will start by applying two thin layers of the color chocolate brown. After that I will use a mix of the colors chocolate brown with German orange ochre of about one third of chocolate brown and two thirds of German orange ochre. I will slowly build up to a lighter color by applying multiple layers of very thin paint. I will leave the recesses with a darker color. For the next color, I mixed in more German orange ochre with the already mixed color of the previous step to get a lighter color. I will also apply multiple thin layers. Slowly, I will start to focus more and more on the raised parts and leave more parts of the recesses in the darker color. After that, I will start with a 50-50 mix of German orange ochre and that flash. When I start to apply more of these layers, I mix in just a little bit of that flash. This is to very slowly build up to the lighter color. Here you can see the color of the cape that I liked after all those layers of paint. For the next steps, I will paint only the more upper parts. From here, I am not only using very thin layers of paint, but I also paint with a little bit of paint on my brush. This gives me more control of where the lighter color will, will go. It will prevent me from using too much paint at once. I will try to be very careful. At the end, I will use straight that flash and touch up only the most raised parts of the cape and the edges. I always find it hard to not use too much of the last step. Try to hold yourself back and only apply it to the necessary areas. This is a better look at the cape all done. It took me a bit of time and now it looks like this. For the braces, quiver and pouch, I will use the color beige brown from Vallejo. 
from now on really watch out to not paint over any parts of the cape. The cape is all done so you want to avoid painting over it at all costs. For the bundle I use the colors Black Leather from Scale 75 with Off-White from Vallejo. When mixing these colors just mix in a little bit of Off-White at once at a time until you have the color you like. I didn't use much white at all. For the hair, dagger and sword on his left side I use the color Petroleum Grey from Scale 75. For the bow and arrows I use the colors Boss Chestnut from Scale 75, Beastie Brown, Off-White and Bone White from Vallejo. I will use a 50-50 mix for the bow with Boss Chestnut and Beastie Brown. For the arrows I use a 50-50 mix of Off-White with Bone White. For the details on the bow, quiver, shoes, hand grip of the dagger and sword and the details on the sword on his left side I use the color tar brown. I will also go over the trim of his shirt with this color to make the color darker. For all the shiny metal and gold bits and pieces I use the colors polished gold and chainmail silver from Vallejo. For the details on the bracers, sword and dagger hilt I used polished gold. For all the other metal pieces I use chainmail silver. We are done now with all the base colors. Now I'm going to shade the miniature. For the skin I use Reikland Flesh Shade from Citadel. I will apply this to his face and hands. I will use it straight out of the bottle. For the shirt, blouse, shoes, sword and dagger and the bundle I use Nun Oil from Citadel. I will use a 50-50 mix of nun oil with water. For all the brown areas I use Agrax Earthshade. For the bracers, bow, quiver and pouch. Be aware that I will not use any shade on the cape. After the shade I will go back with some colors to bring back those colors. Most of the miniature is already done, only a few more steps to go. For his face I will use the colors Brown Sand with Pale Flash, Black and Off-White all from Vallejo. I will first use a 50-50 mix of Brown Sand with Pale Flash on the raised areas of the face. After that I will use a little bit of Pale Flash to do some highlighting on the T-zone, so nose and forehead, his cheeks and around his mouth. Then I will use the color Off-White for his teeth. I finish with two black dots in the eye sockets. For the blouse, pants and arrows I will use the colors Bone White with Off White again. I will mix these colors with a 50-50 ratio. I will gently paint a little bit on the raised parts. Just a bit to bring these colors back. I will use the color Tar Brown on all the details I did before, so the trim on the shirt quiver, the swords and dagger, his shoes and the bow. For the bundle I will use the color black leather from scale 75 and I will mix in a little bit of off-white from Vallejo. I will do some little retouching after the shade and mainly paint the edges of the bundle. For all the metal and gold I will use the colors polished gold, chainmail silver and silver from Vallejo. I'll first go over all the gold with polished gold and all the metal parts with chainmail silver. After that I will use silver to paint one of the sides of the sword with that color. I will do a thin layer of silver there. For the base I will first use the colors tar brown with mojave white. I will use a 50-50 mix of these colors to paint the whole base with it. After that I will use the color brown grey from scale 75 to paint the patterns of the stones on the base. I will paint four stones in the colors high key yellow from scale 75 and off white from Vallejo. I finish off the base to paint the side of the base in the color arbuckle brown from scale 75. 
After letting the miniature dry for at least 24 hours, I will apply quick shade in the color Strong Tone from the Army Painter on the base. After letting the quick shade dry for at least 48 hours, I used the Anti Shine Matte Varnish from the Army Painter. I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, quick paint guide. Please let me know what you thought. I was also a bit all over the place with uh, what I did, but this really made it easier and just quicker. I just wanted to quickly show you what paints I've used and what I've done. So if you're going to paint him, you just have a roughly idea of what I did. So do you like manually painted miniature Tio? Let me know.